it's like uh it's like when I, I've seen myself grow. This this is kind of part of why this show was important to me too. Is because over the years I've seen myself grow. Where I used to be when I was young, it was it was uh, You went from four to four and a half inches. I I, I did. I, I went from like three inches to like three point two. Okay. And I've measured it a lot. Do you have a little chart on the wall? I do. That's where I'm at. Look at me, I'm growing. Yeah, because I lay on the floor when I measure it. <laughs> and sometimes I hit here on the wall when I'm laying on the ground. <laughs> what the fuck are you laying on? Anyway, anyway. So, but yeah, I started out. I started out being um, very you know, kind of liberal in my ideology, and I think a lot of that had to do with the public school system and not really having an ideology necessarily yet. But as I as I which started is a good starting to, point. I don't know. As I started to grow, I, I started to actually become, when I started getting into politics and stuff and started to listen to arguments and listen to ideas, I started to move into more of a conservative type ideology. It seemed to be, it seemed to, to mesh a little more well with kind of where I was at. And uh, it's kind of funny though, um, as I started to identify as Republican for the longest time, it was, it felt like I couldn't really call myself a Republican because I was also atheist, which that's kind of liberal, right? But I was also kind of pro-gay marriage, but that's kind of liberal, right, too. So I'm like, what? Like, I can't, I can't fit into the box because if I go outside of... It, it's, like, it's like, if you want to be a Republican, you have to fit all these things. And if you Check all these miss boxes. one, if you're not religious, if you're not <laughs> pro-gay marriage... If if you are anti-gun, if you are anything that's not within alignment, all of a sudden, you're not a Republican. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you are. And so I'm okay with that, personally. But a lot of people take great offense to that and might even t go so far as to curb their beliefs into fitting into this box. And it drives I mean, me nuts to see this. To me, I think uh, all these, I guess, certain labels, like you said, you know, conservatives and liberal and... You know all that other stuff. They're they're sort of like astrological signs. Like you ever read a horoscope? Yes. Basically, if I covered up all the names of the uh, astrological signs and just gave you the descriptions, like technically, what are you? For uh, Aquarius. I think they changed some dates, so I don't know if it's okay. Changed anyway, or not. it doesn't matter. I don't know. So you're an Aquarius, okay? Yeah. They write that stuff so I guess open that you can interpret yeah, yeah, it open so i can give egg. you a scorpio one and not tell you scorpio You're like oh that's me you know and i think that's kind of like all these what these ideologies are they give you a few small things that you can attach to and then eventually you just keep pulling yourself deeper and deeper into that own ideology and it's just like if you don't agree with something from whatever it is don't fucking agree with it that's why i mean people can call me whatever they want me to call me or whatever they want to call me excuse me you know liberal Republican, Democrat, right wing, left ring. I, 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 <laughs> right wing, left ring. Left ring. Yeah, I know. It's it's the funny word to play, but <laughs> I I don't see myself fitting into One any of ring it. To rule them all. <laughs> Wait, what it's the we? left ring? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but I don't see myself fitting <laughs> into any of the these. left ring movement. You're fucking my head up. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> but it's just. I, I don't want to fit my... I, I can agree with this side. I can agree with that side. I can see why they say this. I can see why they say that. I mean, just stop pulling yourselves into these things that you don't believe 100%. So why do it? Now, here's now here's the thing. If, if you disagree, don't just say I disagree because that does not move the conversation forward at all. It doesn't mm -hmm. help anything. It's, it's really important that... You figure out why you believe the way you believe. I think that's that's more important than the actual belief itself. It's not about the conclusion. It's about the thought process that got you there. Is your thought process flawed? Then maybe we can fix that. Maybe we can actually, you know, help yeah. make some clarity of the world for you here. But if your critical thinking skills are out of whack, which if you come up in public schools, I totally understand. <laughs> that's the majority um, of us. You know. Uh, that's where we. That, I think that's where we need to start. We need to start with the thought process, and learning how to think critically, and learning how to like teaching a methodology for getting to a rational conclusion, using you know uh, philosophy, ethics, you know using logic, 
to get to the, those conclusions and figure out what those things are that, you know, get yeah. you there. And, and if those things are flawed and you're coming to a conclusion, then your conclusion's flawed.